In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to build a very basic bookshelf uh, based on a hand sketch. I've got the hand sketch right here. It was sent in by a viewer that requested this tutorial. As you can see it's a very basic sketch. The dimensions are in inches. The thickness of the boards that we're working with are three-fourths of an inch thick. There's another back panel that's one-fourth of an inch thick. So let's dive right into it. The first thing we have to do is adjust our workspace a little bit. This is a build volume for a 3D printer so we need to delete that. You select it with your select tool which is spacebar. You click on it and you hit the delete, delete key. Then you go up to window, model info, and down to units because we need to switch from millimeters to inches. You go to this drop down menu and select inches and you can go to this drop down menu and select fractional but you can also keep it to decimal one-fourth of an inch is 0.25 and three-fourths of an inch is 0.75. When you're done setting this, just hit the red close button there. Now, you can use the toolbars here or you can start getting familiar with your keyboard shortcuts. We're going to use the rectangle tool to build our first shelf and the keyboard shortcut for that is R, R for rectangle. Click one time and let go of your left mouse button and kind of pull the mouse out like that. You can see in the bottom right of your screen the dimensions changing as you move your rectangle tool around. Let go of your mouse and just type in 48 comma 12 because that's the length and the width of this board. Hit enter and now we have our first shelf in 2D. To make it 3D we need to use our push-pull tool. That's right over here on the toolbar or you can use your keyboard shortcut which is the letter P. Hit letter P, click one time with your left mouse button and move your mouse around. You can see the dimensions uh, increasing and decreasing as you move it up and down like this. Because it's three-fourths of an inch thick, type in 0.75 and hit enter and now it's exactly 0.75 inches or three-fourths of an inch thick. All of, this, all of this geometry needs to be put into a component so that other parts as we're building this bookshelf don't interfere with it. Use your select tool, which is the space bar on your keyboard or this arrow button up here. Triple click, one, two, three. Hit the G on your keyboard. That brings up the create component dialog box. Hit create right here. And now you have your first component. Now we're going to make the vertical part of the shelf the vertical supports. It's also a rectangle, so R on your keyboard. Click one time with your left mouse button. Look at how the dimensions are changing. This one is 30 inches long, 12 inches wide. Hit enter. It's also 3 fourths of an inch thick, so use your push-pull, which is P on your keyboard, and hit .75, enter. Use your select tool, which is your space bar. Triple click, hit G on your keyboard, create component. And now you have your first shelf here, and now your vertical support here. It's still not vertical though, so we need to rotate it perpendicular to the first shelf. We're going to use the rotate tool, which is Q on your keyboard. Hit Q, zoom in here on this corner, because we're going to pivot it on this corner you click with your left mouse button and you hold it down and you drag your mouse around to orient the rotate tool. You can rotate it along X, Y, and Z axes and we want it to be here, green, like this. So let go of your mouse once you get it oriented properly. Find a point along this line here because we're gonna start from here and we're gonna move it up 90 degrees and please note in the bottom right your angle will be shown there. It'll snap to 90 degrees and it will be indicated in the bottom right here. So here is 90 degrees. Click one time and you're done. Now we want to move this corner to match up with this corner. We're going to use our move tool. The keyboard shortcut for move is M. Hit M. Click one time here and just kind of you just click and let go and move your mouse over to here and click one more time and you're done. Now instead of building another s vertical support over here, we're just going to copy this one over to here. And you can use your move, your move tool to do that. 
uh, you click one time and uh, you can see you're, you're moving it along here uh, but then you can hit the control case. We want to use this point here because we want this point to match up with this point here. So click one time here, hit control, copy it, that copies it, and then click here. We're going to do something very similar with the shelf. We're going to copy it up to here, but then we're going to use another another trick to create another shelf directly in between the two. So uh, it might take a little practice. Use your move tool. Click on this upper corner here. Hit control. Bring it up here. Click one time and before you touch anything else, don't move your mouse, don't, don't touch anything else. Just hit two forward slash. You'll see it in the bottom right of your corner, uh, corner of your screen where your dimensions are indicated and hit enter and it should it should work like that if it doesn't work uh, just try it again it takes some practice you have to make sure that you don't move your mouse or anything after you get done moving it and then hit two forward slash enter if you hit three forward slash it would space it out so that there were two one two and three uh, we could get into that more in another tutorial so now we have our vertical supports we have our three shelves now we need to do the back panel the back panel is just a rectangle use R on your keyboard start at this bottom corner here go all the way up to the top right corner here use your push pull tool P and this is one fourth of an inch so it's 0.25 enter use your select tool which is your space bar triple click hit G create component now you have your back panel, your three shelves, and your two vertical supports. Now uh, in future tutorials we'll get into adding dimensions, adding materials, but this is the basic model right here. Um, the, the viewer who sent this sketch in right here, if they convert this into this, it's going to make their, their model much easier for, for them to understand and for others to understand. So I hope that helps and uh, thanks for watching.